So when you went, when you went, when you went to in, the infamous interviewing Tupac in L.A. while the Biggie beef, all that's going on. Oh my was gosh, Puffy and them mad at you? Was 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 Bad Boy mad at you for interviewing Tupac? This is where we're going, Joey. No, okay, no, I'm just, no, no, I'm just, it's fine, it's fine. With you. No, no, no. You know why I get nervous? You know why I get nervous is because. Oh no, I'm not jamming you up, never. No, listen, you're not jamming me up. Trust me, it's fine. I can talk about anything, but I don't jam um, nobody up on a Fat Joe show. Nah, you say nah, it's shit fine. You want to say? No, the the problem is I have this two box. I'm saying, well, they upset with you. You're from New York, the voice of New York. You going they out didn't there love and it. interview two Tupac? Huh? No, they didn't. They didn't love it. They didn't love it. Oh, so they was a little upset about that. I never knew that. Yeah, they didn't love it. It took me and Big a minute. I'm so happy that we got to a better place after because Big Big didn't love it. He never told me, but somebody else told me. But uh, but we had spoke about we didn't speak about it, but we just kind of smoothed it out. And then he wound up coming. My it was my birthday, and he came up to my show, and he wanted to freestyle, and it was all good. It was fine. But you know, I did my best to protect everybody in that space. Like I, you know, everybody knows the story that I didn't air the whole thing because I was really worried about making it worse and. I just tried to do the best I could in that situation, and I think ultimately, that's all you could ever do, right? And and if you know in your heart you you try to do the right thing all the time, and you hope that people respect it, you guys, they don't. you guys would look you you guys would look upon as I'm telling you from an art, artist perspective, I love you as a sister and brother. I'm not saying you, but Hot 97 was looked upon as the evil empire at one point because it was the only game in town. It was no other station, and it was like, you better do what the fuck they say, or you're fucked. 